So friend, uh, in this video, we will go through the process of getting OCI for India born minor. That is, someone who was born in India but have taken citizenship of any other country, how they will apply for OCI. And to do that, the first step will be to do a surrender of India passport. This video which I have made will give you clarity on how to go about surrendering the India passport. Unfortunately, this is the first step you will have to do surrender of passport and only then you can apply for OCI. So do watch the video in case you have not done this and uh, get the surrender of passport done. Also in addition, I have shared my experience uh, of dealing with the service provider. In Canada, it was BLS and in all occasion when I applied for surrender certificate and then the OCI, I found the staff to be poorly trained they have acknowledged this fact on our email and i got a refund of money more than hundred dollar so i made a video this video will give you clarity on how the entire process was it was not an easy process but i'm glad i got back more than hundred dollar of my money to my bank account because i was able to persistently follow and escalate so this might be of interest to you. If money does not matter, you can skip this part. Uh, take an attempt to just go over this because they have acknowledged that they have poorly trained staff and sometimes they have technical glitch. Coming to the application, this is the website. Any part of the world you are, you will have to come to this website. And once you come here, you can go through this new OCI registration details, prerequisite after registration, all of this. I'm skipping and clicking proceed and then you go through these instructions. I will be showing you uh, everything filling up form. Uh, these instructions requires you to upload the uh, signature, photograph, or all of those uh, details uh, in a manner. Everything will be shown. So once you click here, click accept. And then you come to this page where you will get a captcha enter the captcha and once you enter you come to this page so here right you have fill new application and complete partially filled application by name you know if you're just starting you'll have to come here for some reason you start filling up application and at some point you have to take a break come back from where you uh, stopped then you will have to know the application registration number once you start filling up application you will get that number make sure to copy that and keep it for you to log in here by clicking the complete partially filled application so you can start from where you left also after you finish filling up of application okay and you submit in case you find any mistake don't worry just start with a new application and make sure you are sending the correct application to the consulate or high commission when you go and give this to the service provider click on the fill new application and now you come to this page where you have to select the country okay so i will fill this and i will take you through in detail so first thing first this is the temporary application id make sure to copy and keep it somewhere if you have to come back and start the application where you left so place of submission you will choose the country from where you are applying for and when you select that automatically mission option will show the drop down here i have chosen toronto surname and given name as exactly in the passport okay if there are any variations you will have to then show what that change is okay you'll have to click this but um, in i'm assuming that there was no name change just make sure the names in both passport that is India cancelled passport and the new passport the name matches and uh, in case you don't have a surname you see here this is not uh, having a string that means it is not mandatory so you can leave it blank or uh, universally accepted is XXXXX okay so you can make as per your option so and when you're typing anything right automatically it will get converted into caps so don't have to worry about that when you're doing it you'll get to know then sex i'm sure you will not go wrong with date of birth as it matches with your passport country of birth india because 
you were earlier indian citizen uh, and now you are applying for oci based on the uh, indian citizenship how that uh, will impact you will get to see that when we go further in the application then uh, state place of birth current nationality will be the uh, nationality to which you belong now and national identification number for the minor uh, their citizenship certificate will have the uh, citizenship uh, certificate number just enter that this is not a mandatory field and uh, for some reason when you're doing a walk-in with the uh, bls they have been insisting and people have had to fill up the application again and pay additional amount because uh, of the change in application so you can avoid that just enter the uh, citizenship certificate of the minor and visible mark to your best of ability you make that entry then coming to the passport detail this is the current nationality passport if it is canada you enter the canada passport detail it is recently acquired citizenship there will not be any previous passport number i guess and uh, this previous passport number is for the current nationality not india okay the india passport detail will be going separately so don't fill that details here okay then comes the applicant's family detail that is father and mother's detail the nationality now it may happen that uh, you have acquired your citizenship uh, recently and uh, all of you are going with the process together that is wife husband and the child or children so you will select the current nationality and your profession same goes uh, for mother okay and when it comes to relationship with root indian minor for minor the selection will be self because he was earlier indian and recently has taken citizenship of another country so by virtue of that the selection will be self and then you come down save and continue you will be entering the present address detail now since it is a minor child they may not have their own document to submit and that's where one of the parents document will come handy and whatever document you are submitting for example if you are submitting driving license make sure that the address matches as it is written in the driving license for example if uh, albert street is written this way make sure you write this way only and uh, if there is an abbreviation for street make sure you're writing the abbreviation so it has to exactly match the way it is in your driving license many people do wrong don't apply your might uh, this might be cause of rejection and extra money for you extra time for you so make sure the address matches with the document what you're submitting exact the same way and the uh, area code mobile number in case you don't have a telephone number uh, just enter your spouse's uh, uh, you know uh, phone number or in case you don't have your spouse's phone number just speak to one of your friend make sure you put their number here because there is an asterisk here in case you leave it blank again it will come back with rejection so make sure you make that entry and then your email address okay so once you do that click next now on this page this is a verify information page you get the same temporary id there is no change to that and whatever you have filled so far same thing you get to see here this is one way to check recheck cross check and making sure everything what you have entered is correct okay so in case you want to modify you can go and modify now or you can just go and submit now on this page you see here this is your file reference number which you will get and this file reference number you will use when you are submitting your application you will get to see where okay so this uh, file number note it down even if you don't note it down it will be there in your application form but uh, this file number is important okay uh, for any time you have to come back to this uh, application this is the temporary id you will be using not uh, this reference number okay this reference number will be with the consulate or high commission when you send your application they will check this reference uh, for the digital copy and uh, that's how they will establish that it is you okay 
now uh you need to have uh, a signature uh, part and the photo part for the photo specification right this is the link where the photo specification uh, has been given and uh, just make sure you go to any professional studio and uh, take picture from a professional studio if you check online a lot of people have shared their frustration of their photo getting rejected and they have to pay uh, additional fee to uh, the service provider while they are uh, submitting their application so you can avoid that and uh, once you have uh, the photo taken from professional studio keep the bill and uh, in case you want to escalate your uh, or challenge uh, if someone says your photo is not as per the requirement then uh, you know uh, you can watch the video where uh, there are escalation methods through which you can get your grievance answered and that way you will know whether uh, it was as per specification or not and uh, uh, who knows you might also get a refund now one challenge we all have uh, is uploading the photo as per the specification and the signature part so i have made this video where uh, i have used simple tool like uh, uh, paint and i have shown how you can resize to uh, the required specification perfectly and get things done now coming back to this yes i am ready with the image once i click here on this section i will upload the photo and the signature now the photo which i am uploading here is a sample photo not as per the specification you will have to watch the video on how to get the actual specification the link will be in the description to the uh, photo requirement please go through that and when you click here you also get to see the photo specification okay so i will upload both photo and signature which is just a sample so as i said uh, this is just a sample photo and signature okay you see here again depending on the age of the uh, minor you may have to go with thumb impression or signature so uh, the best way to get this checked is to call up bls and see whether it is signature or the thumb impression what is required and again depending on gender the thumb impression hand might change so call pls and get this clarified for once before you upload okay so once the photo and signature is uploaded you have option to check if you want to upload again or uh, uh, if you think that everything is fine okay this is how the oci printout will look the photograph and the signature beneath that so if you are satisfied just uh, go with i have uploaded successfully so on this uh, page there is a document list which is given current passport that will be your current nationality passport if it is canada the canada passport employment and work letter this uh, for the minor will be from parent side okay indian origin proof will be your uh, minors cancelled passport okay that will have all the detail and uh, indian visa that will be the pr and copr copy then uh, the joint declaration of subsisting of marriage this is not required okay uh, the guess is that both parents have their spouse details written on the passport uh, if not you will uh, also have to send marriage certificate and in all cases just send me the marriage certificate uh, counselor might not have issues but when you do a walk in with the service agency because uh, of want of this document a lot of people have had ha hassle so have a marriage certificate uh, handy then uh, relationship certificate uh, is not required because your passport will have that and uh, the, this is a long list some of them are not applicable to the minor okay when it comes to indian origin document previous indian passport as i said for the minor child that should uh, take care and there are other options also given here which you can see but those are not required so with this previous indian passport it should all be good so click to proceed to part b and uh, in this section all the responses i'm making it no just go through this okay uh, some of them 
all of them i have made it low read through this and select uh, the option appropriately and then when you come to present nationality automatically uh, it will show the present nationality here and you will have to select off this option okay so here the option will be naturalization and then enter the date when you got your citizenship done that day when your citizenship oath was done that is your date okay so enter that date here and once that is done come to other details previous nationality of uh, applicant if any here the selection will be india and uh, india's passport number will be entered here so make sure the correct entry is made and uh, do you have relatives staying in india choose the option uh, whatever described best here i am showing yes and then enter the detail of the person okay and uh, the present address make sure to match with their address exactly as it is and uh, write their relationship age you can keep adding members if there are more than one and this is just for record okay uh, and then uh, has any of your applicant faced criminal proceedings the answer here i'm showing no and then submit now this is the document upload section which is a mandatory requirement i'll show you what are the mandatory document which will go as an upload and then also document which will be sent along with as a photocopy to the service provider yeah i've already uploaded uh, some of the documents like the current passport here in this case this will be uh, the new passport from the country where you are now okay if it is canada it will be canada and you can click here and view the document to make sure it is all correct and in case you want to re-upload you can do up to five times and after that the re-upload will not be accepted so make sure you go through this and uh, upload the correct document when it comes to indian origin proof you will have your cancelled india passport that will go as an upload and uh, in case along with the india passport you also want to have the surrender certificate attached you can get that on a word document and then save it as pdf so it will become one single file and you can upload that part relationship certificate now uh, here the upload is the birth certificate okay and uh, with the birth certificate upload it will have both parents name because uh, when you are sending physical copy parents detail will also be asked for so upload that part and then the, here is the additional detail section and this is a standard format for anyone who is coming to apply for oci so from this drop down right you see all this uh, thing employment indian uh, visa joint declaration marriage certificate PIO, spouse, uh, OCI card and spouse passport. These are not required for minor. So these three document will get uploaded. And uh, one way also to check, double check, recheck is to call BNS once. Okay. On the upload part. So once that is done, just final submit. Now the online application form has been submitted. Okay. And you can generate the registration form by clicking here. After completion uh, of this registration, once you open the PDF document, uh, you will get this PDF document, which is a six page document. But if you see here, these are instructions. Page four, five, six are instructions. Now, don't push logic. Take all six page printout. Okay. It will cost 10 cent for each printout because dealing with the BLS might be a surprise for you. So just take the printout, all six pages, and uh, you will save your time and energy. Once you have this printout ready, the next uh, part is to have offline documents ready. What are they? Since I forgot to mention the surrender certificate photocopy. Okay, so this is a mandatory document which will go along with the, uh, the online application as a photocopy. So make sure you don't miss this. Rest of them, I am doing a running commentary and uh, follow as I am showing. So for the physical copy, no original document has to be sent, no passport original to be sent. If you send it, forget getting that, okay, forever. So make sure you are only sending the photocopy and application form 
black and white uh, printout is absolutely fine just make sure that you are sending the correct application in case you have created more than one then the minor child's photo uh, this will go a uh, physical uh, copy one only one you have already uploaded in the application digitally so this one right you can put it in an envelope with uh, uh, secure uh, paper clip uh, making sure that it stays when it reaches the destination and then the current passport of minor that is the current uh, citizenship uh, passport if it is canada it will be canada the first page only where uh, all details are visible and both parents need to sign this uh, document then parents uh, both parents passport copy is also required the current one and this parents will have to self attest then for the indian origin proof again the passport of minor first and last page here if minor is able to sign uh, they can sign if not parents can do the signature on this document again for the indian origin uh, passport copy of both parents uh, uh, will be required that is the cancelled india passport which will be self attested then citizenship certificate of minor and parents this will also be required okay uh, now don't ask me the logic it is all money saving tips which i am giving otherwise you will end up spending for each print out 5 dollar when you are with the service provider and there you cannot argue okay so best is carry this uh, as a print out it only will cost 10 cents the relationship certificate will be the birth certificate here don't worry about the long form food copy okay this is not required for the relationship certificate it will be the birth certificate only and then marriage certificate of parent photocopy and signed by both then when it comes to address proof one of the parents driving license i'm just giving reference of driving license so you can attach that as a valid uh, photo uh, valid address proof and then self attest by the parent then there is a no objection certificate i'll show you this what this is here uh, you will have to paste your photos both of you and uh, we'll have to give this no objection letter okay how does that look so this is the no objection letter once you fill this father mother detail signature and then photos okay attach this form with the application when comes the demand draft part now there are two part to this one is to either high commission or consulate general depending on your location i am showing here toronto you will have to see which location you are and to whom it has to be made i'll show you how to find that and then there is a service charge in this case bns gets a service charge now this is a revised fee what bns gets now earlier they were getting almost 5 to 6 times more than what their current service charges okay so let me show that to you so this is the consulate general toronto's uh, website and uh, if you look here bls service charge has been changed with effect from 1st january 2024 now it is $1.70 so if you have seen my earlier video there it was a different service fee which was higher now that has been reduced so accordingly you will have to get documents made now let me take you to the bls website so this is the bls website again link will be in the description you see here for the oci card you have to make one demand draft in name of consulate general of india toronto i am showing toronto here as per my application you will have to check your application's uh, location and uh, the fee will be shown like this so one demand draft in this name and for bls international processing fee there will be another demand draft now if you're doing a walk in right you don't have to make demand draft for bls you can directly pay to them but uh, you still have to take demand draft for the consulate general of india now when you're making this demand draft at your bank ask for a waiver because uh, if you don't ask you will end up spending 10 dollar per demand draft and in case you are submitting multiple application just think for each of the demand draft you will be paying 10 dollar each so bank usually 
uh, you waves this off because I'm sure you would have multiple product with the bank and being a loyal customer, they wave this. I never had to pay any money, uh, be it uh, surrendering certificate or getting the OCI. And uh, also in my case, uh, I had taken a combined demand draft. So when uh, my, uh, my wife and I, we applied, we took a combined demand draft that was single demand draft which had 345 into two that the total amount now i was sure about my application so i did that and i had no issues whatsoever be it with uh, the consulate or be it with uh, bls in case you are in double mind take uh, each demand draft separately but ask for a waiver with the bank okay so they will give you that waiver now once this is done right your online document, your offline photocopies, everything is ready. The next thing comes is the checklist. So in this checklist, uh, this has to be verified by applicant. In case of minor, it will be one of you. So make sure either you tick or write check. Okay. So this is the checklist, online application form, check or okay, surrender certificate. Here, uh, I had missed that uh, earlier and I had made a special mention. Make sure you are sending the surrender certificate uh, copy also along with your cancelled India passport and uh, uh, rest of them are self-explanatory. You can just skip anything which uh, you don't have to send. Okay, it's a long list. So once you go through this, enter the name of the applicant that will be the minor uh, applicant name, the uh, file number, PLS center where you are going to send this, call PLS to check. The nearest center where you can send mississauga now has an office uh and i think halifax also now has an office and then date when you are sending with signature of the applicant now again it's a six page document just take all six page print out and send it you don't want to end up uh, surprised uh, uh, with each page uh, you pay five dollars so just take it, it will cost you five to ten cents if you're taking from any of the public library so once this is done now vls has a walk-in where you can go and submit uh, the form uh, and uh, there are wait times you can call them on this number it's a centralized number and check about the walk-in they also have a pickup and drop service now you can go through this payment link my suggestion is don't go through this speak to them and even if it is pick up and drop service ask them what the charges are and that way you know the breakdown of what you're paying like uh, i showed the video i was made to pay almost more than 100 dollar and i can't buy that money because i asked those right questions so uh, make sure you call them and uh, ask those breakdown that's going to help you to know what you're paying so that's about uh, the application form there are other videos for uh, OCI for adult and OCI for minor who is born in Canada. Also on my website, if you come to this website, canadatridenttested.com, when it comes to India related, I have tried to organize everything which is uh, India related and you might be interested to know. These are helpful links and I have organized so that it's fast and you have everything at your fingertips. and. Uh, in case you find the video useful, don't forget to share with other uh, friends, families who are going through the process uh, so that they are aware and they are not taken for any surprise. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching Canada Tribe Tested.